Hi everybody, my name is Thor. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be moving on to part four of our uh, Milky Way tutorials. Um, and see so what we got here. Here's where we got to last time. And uh, we're just going to start moving on from here. There's very little we still have to do, but the last things we have to do can be pretty extensive. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, move on from here. I'm going to do one... Make sure you're not in perspective mode space, add mesh circle. On the circle, make sure on 32 vertices, 7, go and scale it to the outside size of your last ring that you made, or just a little bit in. So right about there is good, you can see it's just inside that thick little patch of yellow we just made. Tab. E for extrude, only edges, and click size. Go ahead and size that up to a little bit out, uh, a little bit uh, larger than the outside edges there. And um, you know what? We're having a problem with our normals right now. If you look at my, uh, um, if you look at this in uh, whatever it's called, textured view, you see I'm having a problem with my normals. Here's a good time to teach you how to work out the normals. Um, go ahead and go over here, click A. Control N, recalculate normals. And see, so you're gonna screw them all up or fix them. Control N again, and uh, so I haven't really fixed anything yet. Um, and if it's that didn't flip them backwards, back in place, go and say uh, flip normals. And now they're all facing the right direction here. So, um,. So anyway, we don't really need to be in uh, texture mode. I uh, just felt like that would be an appropriate time to show you how that works. But I'm um, going to go to 7. Go and go to your Objects tab under Particles. Say Add New. Go and create a new particle system, which we just did by default. Go ahead and make the particle system. Go and make the amount. Um, 15,000, say random, 20, normal, 1, dampening, point 0.9. Now we go to 1 again, we do alt A. Oh, and I made the same mistake as I did last time, and uh, let's go over here quickly. Flip over to Halo just so I can see what, uh, there we go. Alt A. So here's our other one right up here that we're looking at here, and I think we got too many on there. I don't like having that many on there, so let's go back over to our objects and lower that down to 8,000. Alt A. Still a bit much. And go and lower your dampening down to 0.8. And our amount, make that 5,000. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, go and lower that dampening even more. Go and make that 0.6 and make our random 30. Now they're a little bit more dispersed in there. There you go. We're doing good. Okay, go and get to frame 100. Now let's texture this. Let's make this um, 0.6. No. Make that 0.7. And make it a purple color. Um, just past blue kind of purple. Like right about there. Kind of that bluish tint to it. Um, raise your heart all the way up. And... Uh, Put on some add on that. I'm gonna go all the way up on the add, just enough, you know, just about there to 0.7 maybe. Go ahead and do a shaded. Now kind of cover the ins and outs of it, and then lower the alpha way down. Um, like you're looking way, way down. Um, about 0.1 is probably even too much because you don't want it to overpower the um you don't want it to overpower this blue that we have in there so we should probably even lower that down to about point 
2 is probably a little too much even. But let's try it. We go to F12. Oh, whoops. Excuse me. Um, let's render this out to frame 100. So when it, if you look on my mouse cursor here, in just a minute, a one's about to appear uh, right there, and it did. So we can click frame 100. Now if we do F12, it should look a little better. Um, hopefully that purple won't be too overpowering, and um, we'll be able to move on. Um, you can obviously tell this takes a while to render. Now, the unfortunate part is I did uh, underdid it a little too much with the purple. Go ahead and increase the purple up to point oh one two. That should be good. F twelve. So um, once this renders out, what we're gonna be able to do is um. Nope, we're still not seeing that purple in there. What we're going to do is we're going to hit escape again. And, um, go ahead and raise that purple up to about, what is that, 0.9. I must say it's good. Probably a little overdoing it, but trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. Um, you know, you can do this 100 times and still not be able to get it perfect each and every time. Um, so, uh, that's a little better there. So we'll see we got that purple in there, but it's not really purple anymore. So go ahead and move that over a little bit more to the magenta side of things. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so we're just going to assume for the sake of this video that that's pretty good. Um, um, just move that over to the magenta, and I'm going to say that's probably going to work out. But you know, one thing that is bothering me is this inside ring here. If I never click it, it's just a little too bright. Go ahead and make that point. Oh. Get that point. Oh. I'm going to assume that's pretty good. Um, we'll move on from here. Um, let me just see what this is going to look like here, but I've just been really uh, been on edge about the way some of these things have been going lately. Oh, and, well, the purple looks good, too. All right, we got that orange. I, I hit the nail right on the head with that orange there. Um, lower your orange down to .01 um, on there, and um, I'll let you see what this looks like here. It's about to be done rendering. Alright. So you want to see this now. Here's what our galaxy is starting to look like now. Um, pretty impressive looking. Um, if I do say so myself. Now what we have to do is we have to add another ring. Hooray. Um, go ahead and say escape. Or, uh, 3D view for me, I guess. Um, for you, it'd be escape for your render. Or you can just close out your render or whatever you want to do. 7, add new mesh, and you're going to say circle. This one doesn't have to use a particle system. In fact, we're not even going to probably get through the entire process of using this one right now. Raise this up to 50. Okay. Size. We're going to bring this out right about there is going to be good. And, um, over here, halo. We're going to say blue. Blue, excuse me. Um, all right, make sure it's um, looking pretty puffy over there. Make sure the halo size is up pretty high. Make sure the heart is all the way up. Make sure that your um, 
ad, you don't want the ad all the way up on blue. Blue's a lot more abrupt with it. Um, go ahead and lower the alpha all the way down to about 0 0.01. That's probably, once again, still a bit high, but I'm going to render this out real quick, and uh, hopefully there won't be too much tweaking to do with this. Alright, we're about to be done rendering with it. And I think we're going to have to raise up the... Yeah, you can't really see that all that well. Um, so go ahead and raise that to about 0.03, I'd say. Make that a little bit more visible. Because it's not visible through that orange at all. I'm not going... Let's spare to overshoot. 0.04. So, 0.04 should do the trick. Um, let's F12 this, because I'm running short on time, and I'm forgetting to do things. Hooray. Um, so, let's go ahead and click that, and I think that that should be pretty good. I'm going to take a huge gamble on this. Let's see if this works here. Um, um... Not quite there, getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. Um, raise that up to point one. Don't make that point one five. F twelve. Once again, better to overshoot than undershoot. So hopefully, um, um, hopefully this will be. A little bit better. I find I've always found it easier to take away than to add. So, ooh, I think this is gonna do it. Um, and I'm wrong. Crap. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the size on this a little bit here. Make this one. And uh, F12 for the last time. And there we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and let this finish rendering out here and I'll uh, show it to you when it's done here. And, uh, but anyway, we found our settings. Go ahead and set these at um, the way that I have it here while that's rendering. Oh, excuse me, let you see that. I'm gonna set your settings the way that I have them here while this rendering on my end and I'll show them to you when I'm done. All right, so it's done. Um, the image editor. You see we got that faint blue ring along the inside of it now. That's exactly what we want. So um, we're going to uh, stop there for now and uh, we will um, pick back uh, pick up pick back up in our next tutorial. Um, um, we're not too much uh, farther from finishing. Um, maybe one or two more tutorials away so uh Go ahead and um, just follow along the best you can. Thanks for watching.